All right, so I've initialized a basic patch here. We can do some filter sweeps. And some resonance. Change the envelope to a pluck. And we can cycle through the effects section now. So I'm going to turn that on. So we have a mono delay here. Parameter 1 controls the delay time. Parameter 2 is a delay feedback. Moving on, we have a DDL stereo delay. Again, same parameters, delay time and feedback. We have a bucket brigade simulation delay. Moving on, we have a chorus. So let me bring this back up to a sustained sound. So this is no chorus, and then bring it in the chorus. So chorus rate as the first param, and chorus depth as the second. exaggerated. We have a phaser high. Phaser low. That sounds lovely. phaser here. We have a flanger. Second flanger. We have 
reverb. The controls are reverb time and reverb tone. Let's get this into a more of a pad sound by increasing the attack here. So I've just increased the mix amount to completely wet on the reverb here. Next up we have a ring modulator. Let me bring this back to a... And the controls are ring mod tune and ring mod key tracking on off. So the key tracking is kind of cool, so normally when you have ring mod sounds you get very um, inharmonic type sounds which are barely playable, but in this case you can actually extract melodies from it. Distortion. The parameters are gain and tone. We have a high pass filter. Parameters are cutoff and resonance. And that's it, that's, that's the effects section. Again, I don't have time to fully get over all the settings here, so I'm not gonna be able to give you a detailed uh, view of what the synthesis is capable of. But I at least want to demo the effects section, which is something new compared to the Prophet 8.